I have reviewed a lot of Wi-Fi routers and you know how much I love having the best internet speed and stability in every corner of the house. And I guess you're wondering, which Wi-Fi router am I using or what is my current setup? Or you might even say that I have the most expensive setup and I assure you that I don't have the most expensive router to achieve a great network experience. But of course, those expensive routers have a lot to offer. And today, let us try to talk about my current setup for now. First is, of course, a piece of evidence that this is not biased. I purchased some of these units with my own money, even the main mesh node. And there you have it. I am using Asus Wi-Fi routers, and they are not actually the newest model, but they work great. Moving forward with the video, I will show you my easy to understand networking diagram, show you where the AI mesh nodes are located, speed test on those locations, and try to game as well. Last part would be giving you some advice on how to build your great network. And of course, there will be a lot of questions, why not this brand, why not this model, and everything else. We are going to talk about that on the last part of this video. To help you visualize with my current setup, here is a simple diagram. My ASUS Blue Cave is directly connected to my main modem router from my internet service provider, which is Converge, while an unmanaged switch is connected to that ASUS Blue Cave router, while three ASUS AC59U B2 is connected to that switch. All of this AI mesh node is connected with an ethernet backhole because when this house is being constructed, we have already laid out all the LAN cables on the wall and ceiling on all areas so it would not be messy. Another is that my computer and NAS is directly connected to the ASUS Blue Cave Wi-Fi router. Before I show you the speed and latency that I get on every location in the house, I would like to remind you that I now have 500 Mbps from Converge. But guys, the speed might not always show 500 Mbps because a lot of devices that are currently connected and there are a lot of traffic coming from those devices. Now, let us begin. Okay guys, right now we are here on the bedroom and we are connected to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi frequency of our AI mesh network. And as you can see here, this is actually the Wi-Fi router inside the room. And let's try to hit go for the speed test. Okay, as you can see, we are able to have at least 418 Mbps for download while 392 Mbps for upload. And now let's try to do a game on this area as well. Okay guys, right now we are doing Mobile Legends. As you can see here, we are getting around single digit latency for our Mobile Legends experience. And let's try to push this one. Sorry, I don't know how to use this character, but the important thing is you're getting single digit latency on this bedroom connected to our mesh node on this bedroom as well. Okay guys, right now here on the ground floor, we are connected again to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi frequency because we are connected on this node here on the ground floor. And let's try to do a speed test as well. And guys, speed test. 496 Mbps for download while 477 for upload. And of course, we're going to perform a gaming test as well if it is actually stable. Okay guys, right now gaming experience, we are getting single digit latency on this location on the ground floor. And guys, easy peasy, single digit latency gaming experience. This is great for competitive gaming. Okay guys, right now we are on the roof deck and let's try to check. We are connected to the 5 GHz Wi-Fi frequency of the AI mesh node that is located here on the roof deck. And of course, we're going to perform speed tests as well. And we're connected to Converge again and hit go. Okay guys, as you can see, we are able to get 434 Mbps for download while 441 Mbps for upload. And of course, let's try to do speed gaming as well and check the latency that we are getting on mobile legends okay guys for the gaming experience what can i say we are still having single digit latency on this location third floor roof deck and still great gaming experience for this one
And there you have it guys. As you can see, I'm having the best experience in every corner of the house. I'm able to fully utilize the speed of my internet bandwidth on all locations. Now, let us try to check on some of the questions that you might ask and why ASUS and why those models. Honestly, ASUS is not my first pick. I have been working as a system administrator for the past 10 years and these companies that I'm working for are using Cisco networking equipment. But of course, Cisco equipment are so expensive. So I settled for their lower end networking like Linksys by Cisco. They work great but their lifespan is more or less one to two years. After that, there are a lot of issues coming out. But those were the old models. I'm not sure if it's still true up to this day since we have not tested any Linksys for a long time. Then I tried my first Asus Wi-Fi router, the RT1200HP and guys, that was great. With that unit, it can cover the entire house by positioning it on the middle of the house, ceiling mounted. Not the best speed, but still I can have internet access in the entire house and all locations. Then use it for several years, it is still working. But there are times that I'm not satisfied with the speed anymore since I already have 100 Mbps those days and I want to utilize that on all three floors. And then I searched again for Lazada until I saw a great deal from Asus Wi-Fi routers. And during that time, Asus Blue Kid was so cool for me. The design is so unique compared to other Wi-Fi routers, the traditional one, they have antennas, and uh, the flat one from Linksys. This one has a hole in the middle. Then I found out that definitely it can cover the entire house as well, but not the full speed that I wanted on every other location. So the only way to move forward is to have mesh network. Then the good thing about Asus Wi-Fi routers, even though I think Blue Cave is on a different series, it can create mesh network with other series. Like for now, I know that it can create with TAP, ROG, RT series, uh, Lyra and other things as well. Then I purchased the ac 59 b to around 3000 plus. Then it starts with that and it grows over time. Next question would be like, why not Tenda like the famous AC23? Guys, that is still a great Wi-Fi router. I have the Chinese and global versions up to this day and the Chinese version is still working 24 by 7. I have given it to the apartment they will be using that one. But during that time, I already have invested on Asus Blue Cave and the mesh for Tenda is not that great during that time. Why not tp -Link? Again, I have already invested on my main mesh router, so I think it would be expensive to transition from one brand to another. But don't get me wrong, those TP-Links are also great and I have helped my friend in Singapore to set up their Deco mesh units and ever since, they are not encountering any issue with their Wi-Fi network anymore. And I think if I would transition to TP-Link, I would like to test out their Omada series like the Wi-Fi 6 indoor units access point because their outdoor AP, the EAP225, is a monster in the range. Try to check that video. And why not be link Again, I have already invested in my Asus Wi-Fi routers and so far it never fails so I don't transition to dealing for now. But guys, since D-Link was kind enough to offer to give us those Eagle Pro AI series Wi-Fi routers, I set it up in my parents' house. It works great and I really like the AI reporting and other features that it has. The only thing that I can say that there are some instances recently that the internet was a little bit unstable because the main mesh router is running hot. Not that it has a pulling issue but it is more of a placement issue. It is sitting beside the window where there is a light coming from the sun being directly heated from the sun and there is no circulation in that area. So when we adjust the Wi-Fi router, the issue was resolved. Why not PF Sense? It is already in the works, but guys, not everyone is technical. That is why I created this channel to create content to help people decide faster on how to improve their Wi-Fi network with of the shell Wi-Fi devices that are easy to set up and configure. Moral of the video is that if you are starting now to build your Wi-Fi network, buy one powerful mesh capable router from any brand. Then check if it will satisfy your needs. 
If not, that is the reason why I said mesh capable. So you can expand your network with another mesh node from that brand and less hassle of management for other nodes if you're not using a mesh network. For the brand, it is really up to you. Like if the features you need is on this brand or the, on the other brand, yes, it can be an option for you. But nonetheless, I will still create videos for those Wi-Fi routers to help you decide if they're, they are actually a great Wi-Fi router to be on your network. And I think that will be all for now. I hope you liked the video. And if you do, please hit that like button. If you are not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well. For it will help build that channel. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And bye.